So yesterday I was getting ready to do the 18.4 uh, update on the Varus and uh, noticed it wasn't, it wasn't ready yet. I had to download it. So I had to kind of call my diagnostic representative from Snap-on and he kind of stepped me through it. But I just wanted to kind of take you guys through the steps how to download this thing if you guys got the subscription or you guys got the little SD card for the update for the 18.4, whether you got a new scanner or you don't have an update, but you know, some deal, some, some Snap-on dealers may not update it for you, may not know how to. Show you guys real quick what the process is in getting this update. So here's the 18.4 update they got in the October Hot Tools on the back side of it. Um, I really don't know what they've, uh, what they've updated on it. I know a few updates ago they added Harley Davidson on there. So we'll see. I'll show you guys what to do. I got this thing propped up here. Kind of go through the process. I'll show you guys where to go to get this update started. Alright guys, so after you got it turned on, right here at the bottom, at the, the start menu bar, um, there's a little icon, little white icon. Kind of looks like an eye. It looks like a mini scanner. Um, you want to go ahead and just hold that. Get on it. It's kind of small, so you got to make sure you're on it. Get it open. Check for updates. Go ahead and press that. And it'll check for updates real quick. I downloaded it the other day. Pops up right away. The bundle, 18.4 bundle upgrade. You go to install now. It'll start to install. It'll download it again. Start to prep it for installation. The wizard will run. Let that go through the process. It'll prompt you with the license agreement. Who reads these things? Check the box. Hit agree and continue. And it'll start the install process. Right after it runs that, installation has been completed successfully. You may need to update the firmware on your scan module. So I'll show you guys how to do that next. Hit OK. So it's going to run the suite real quick. It should pop up 18.4 in the corner. So we got the 18.4 on there. That means everything went good. Um, what I like to do here Hit the desktop. Oh. Just minimize it real quick. And then also what I noticed guys, so now that we got the new 18.4, our old icon is no good. It's a broken link now. So I'll just show you. It's no longer valid. So what I usually do is just take this and throw it away. Put it in the trash bin because our new one's going to be that one. Move here. Yes. And then what I like to do here is rename it. Rename. I just like to call it Snap On. You can name it whatever you want, though. Scanner, Varus. Snap On. Done. It needs uh, administration control, administrator control, permission, okay, done, renamed. So that's pretty much the scanner's updated now. I'll show you guys how to update the module. You basically just need to plug it in. You basically just need to plug it into uh, to an OBD port, power it up. So take the module, guys. Plug it into the OBD port. I don't know if you guys can see that. Power it up, it powered up, it's on, back to the scanner, run the suite.
So prompts you right away saying there's an update for the module. Put update now. And it'll do the same thing. This one should take this one shouldn't take as long as the actual update. Let that go through the process. Alright guys, so it updated the module, just hit OK, and we should be good to go. I always like to update the module right away, um, you know, you update the Varus, uh, sometimes you forget to update the module, and then the next time you go to use the scanner, it won't work until you get the module updated, so you're going to be sitting there all that time while you're trying to diagnose a car, or get a, get a code on a car for a customer, or whatever, um, until the module updates. So that's pretty much it. It's how you update the uh, scan tools. When you got the subscription, like I said, I've also updated it with the little SD card too. Um, when I had first got this scanner, I updated my European. Um, used to do it off the little SD card or just have my Snap-on guy give it to me. Most of the time, you're just going to be giving the scanner to your, uh, you know, your Snap-on guy and he's going to update it on the truck. But, uh, you know, just in case you guys were wondering, I don't know as far as 18.4, like I said, I don't think there's anything, you know, fancy updates or anything wild and crazy impressive. I think the majority of it is just keeping up with these cars. Um, if you guys can, make sure, you know, keep up on these updates. It, it, you know, it helps. It makes our job easier. You know, I used to use a scanner being four or five years behind on updates. And, I, you know, not that I struggled, but it, it was a lot harder when you're using a scanner. Yes, it'll still scan through global and things like that. But you're not going to get the bi-directional and, 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 and some of these PIDs aren't going to show up on the, on the older updates. You want to stay up to date on these. If you guys can or the shop you work at, try to make sure the scan tool you use is at least up to date. You know, at least by a year, six months, 12 months, however, you know. But yeah, guys, just a quick one. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys updated your scanner to the 18.4 or if you're thinking about doing it. I know it's pretty expensive, but... You know, it's got to get done. We got to stay with the times, guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.